My name's Professor Debbie Ashenden. I'm from the University of Portsmouth and I'm the programme lead for Protective Security and Risk. On our programme, we're really interested in trying to challenge some underpinning assumptions about how we do security. So in our modern world, we've got lots of new technologies that we can use and they change our social lives. We think that this also gives us an opportunity to change how we do security. Our starting point is that good people do bad things, sometimes unintentionally, um, and we want to try and explore this a bit further. One of the problems that we see in organisations is that very small bad security behaviours can now have a large impact on an organisation's security posture. What we did was, first of all, we started looking at the uh, research on organisational psychology, on criminology and security, to try and understand whether people do actually make rational decisions about whether to comply with security or not. Um, and what we discovered was the situation is far more complex than we might have thought. So, for example, we know that if people have previously done a lot of good security behaviours, sometimes they then feel entitled to breach security. Rather perversely, if a lot, of, um, a lot of rewards are given for complying with security, people sometimes feel it's, it's quite naughty and exciting to breach security. Organisations value creativity and innovation, and yet we know that those qualities in individuals are actually positively associated with breaking rules. And people have varying levels of threshold about what they can get away with and still feel good about themselves. So once we'd, once we'd looked at this area, we wanted to work out how we could unpack it further. We need to have open and honest dialogues about security if we're going to make some progress. Um, and these have to be mature discussions. So what we've done is we've developed a three-day workshop, the Security Dialogues Workshop. We're taking it out to security practitioners as a way of giving them the chance to explore some tools and techniques in a safe place for how they can build these better security dialogues. What we want to do is rather than relying on technology to patch security, we want to try and teach security practitioners how to patch with people.